thanks to Mastrop, they've got a lot of cool gear and they utilize the power of group buys to save you money. You can check them out at Mastrop.com or click on the link in the description. Thanks to Corsair, they've got a lot of new stuff going on. Be sure to check out all of our booth coverage by clicking on the link in the description. Thanks to you guys, our Patreon members and our tech support members. We are trying to expand and hire new people and we want to keep the integrity of our content. Thanks for giving, you guys are awesome. All right, it's time to be quiet. These are something you might have seen before, but they've changed. This is the Pure Power 9 power supply, and uh, they've changed a few things. As you can see on the back, check that action out. They are now semi-modular, and they've gone with the black cabling. They also have the flat cables there, which will be very easy when it comes to, you know, trying to route your cables in your case and that sort of thing. They've also switched the manufacturers with the, the fans, and uh, these fans are going to stay on all the time, and that's because they're so freaking quiet that it, it doesn't matter. They just stay on. So... That's going to be nice. The other thing that's really interesting is these are silver. seems like most things out there on the market are either bronze or, you know, full-on gold or platinum. Uh, silver is kind of a, a nice spot in the middle in the market, so I, I do like these quite a bit. It'll be interesting to see how they perform. They'll also be in the standard, uh, you know, just all the cables, not semi-modular. You'll be able to get them that way or semi-modular for you guys who want to pick exactly what cable to plug in. Hey, it's the Silent Base 800. You guys have seen this before. Uh, now, it looks a little different. That's not orange. That's red. What's going on with that? And we got black over here. Uh, there's going to be a few different colors coming out. So these are going to be, for sure, possibly also a blue one. But they want to know from you guys in the comments, what colors would you like to see? And over here, we've got the Silent Base 600. You guys actually haven't seen this one. We haven't done a review on this one. So I'll give you a quick once over. Uh, nice and, uh, you know, modular on the inside. You can see the bays there. They, uh, they, they can be moved or removed. You can take them out entirely if you want to mount things in different spots. You know, they've also got the color here to embellish. You got a few different options there. We got the silver and the orange. Are you guys doing different colors with this as well? We should play with one of these. And this one came with the side panel on day one, whereas it took a little while for the 800 to get the side panel. Let's check out Deep Cool. This is a new case called the Genome, and uh, there's a lot going on with this. First off, look at that. That is a new water cooling unit. Well, it's uh, sort of the captain block right there and the captain pump. And then we also have the 360 radiator that we've seen from the captain before. But this is new, the reservoir is a helix and uh, they've got it in three different colors and it's going to come with this case here called the genome and there you can see right there in the front we have that and it's also breathing and there's a little backlight led it, it of course does have the aggressive gamer aesthetic uh, plastic on the outside steel on the inside and on the top there you can see we have a couple of the usb3 uh, they said they may also do this in aluminum so one of the things i like is they show us stuff and then you know they'll wait for some feedback from uh, the community let's go ahead and show you what's going on on the inside now they do have a titan right here on the side and that is mounted on a bracket and then there's a ribbon going to the pci express they're going to sell that separately normally it'll just install uh you know right on the motherboard all right on the inside there you can see we have the uh the breathing water block and they've got the green to match the front as well and then you can see the three fans are mounted up there. It'll come with all that. The price over here is $249, and you'll get all that together. And we also have some cable routing options here in the front, as you can see right here. Now, there's a spot that will be removable, a little door there, in case you have a massive graphics card. I also like the fact that they've given us a compartment on the bottom that'll house the uh, PSU and also all of the hard drives. You're probably thinking, where am I going to put my SSDs? Just tape them to the side of the case, man. You can put them anywhere. There's they're, you know, no moving parts. Or you can put them on the back. We've got two brackets there that are easily removable with thumb screws on the top. And then two more over on the back, just above the PSU. Again, plenty of room for cable routing. We've got some rubber grommets. All right, let's take a look at it in white. Now, the black looked kind of aggressive and, I guess, gamerish, if that's even a term. The white and blue, in my opinion, have a, have a, a different aesthetic altogether, even though it's the same external features. And they've got one of the Asus... Um, Tough motherboards. That's one of the uh, Sabertooth, I believe it is. Yes, it is the Sabertooth Z97, and that one, you know, of course, has the armor all over the entire thing, unlike the new one. So uh, mounted in there, looks pretty nice with the blue. We got the three fans on top. So a couple different options for this one, and uh, let me know in the comments which color you prefer. All right, let's look at some uh, tri tristellar case mods. These are always fun, and then I've got something that you've never seen before that you're going to want to stick around for. So just. So just stick around. So a Belgian modder made this. It's one of the prettiest case mods I think I've ever seen. The attention to detail here is ridiculous. This is the Tristellar uh, Whetstone mod. Take a look at this chromed tubing right here. Bent. It's just, in my opinion, just very pretty. But you guys will tell me if you like it or not. And of course we have the reservoir here in the front. A little bit of red glow from the bottom. And then you can see we have this pattern 
that has been, it's basically razor cut and then taped on. And this will close down here. It's a very smooth hinge there. That is pretty. This is the Tristellar Pathogen hanging out here on the bar. And uh, the main thing that's going on with this one, other than the white and the blue aesthetic, is they've also used the Helix Reservoir right there with the white and blue, or just actually the blue. All these things, if, if you guys beg for them enough, I bet they could release them to the public, maybe. I don't know. So anyway, there's that. Now you got to see this. This is ridiculous. All right, I thought I'd seen the most ridiculous power supply ever over at Cooler Master, but this is the most ridiculous power supply I've ever seen. It's a water-cooled power supply. <laughs> they built a water-cooled power supply. They've got some patents going on. And, you know, one of the key focuses here, obviously, is safety. But you've got your, your reservoir over here, and it's being pumped in. And it's nice and quiet. Let me go ahead and remove the shroud. There we go. Got some LEDs in there so you can see what's going on. But essentially, it's nice and quiet and water-cooled. They have not released this yet. They're, you know, they've got some patents that they're working on. Just let us know if you guys would feel safe with something like this. They're, they're kind of looking for some feedback from the audience. Is this something people would use? I mean, of course, it'll only be for certain uh, extreme people who really, really want this in their in their case. But why not? If you can water cool a power supply and do it safely, what the hell? They have also updated the Captain. Now, there we've got the Captain 240 White. Those are pretty. Uh, these have been updated with something that's really kind of nice they've improved the tubing but they've also improved the mounting mechanism to make your life a little bit easier we only have as you can see two screws there with the spring tension uh, on the bottom and that'll make your life a lot easier when you're trying to mount this in your system uh, there's the you know the the 120 and also the 240 over here they also said that the white versions will soon be getting an update that's deep cool at ces 2016 click on all the links in the description thanks to all our sponsors and all that jazz